Continuing on, let's say uh, we are asked to solve 4 is greater than n over 2 plus 8, or 8 is greater than or equal to negative n over 4 plus 6. So this is an or, or compound inequality in one variable, because you just have n, there's no two variables. Those are coming up soon. So as the instructions state in the past, we solve the first inequality and we solve the second one. So for the first one, I subtracted the 8 to the left-hand side so I can get the n over 2 by itself. 4 minus 8 is negative 4. So I rewrite what I have left. Negative 4 is greater than n over 2. Then, because the n is being divided by the 2, I need to move the 2 over to the other side. I do that by multiplying the 2 over. So negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. So I get negative 8 is greater than n. Now, I prefer to have my variables on the left-hand side. So all I'm doing is just rewriting this inequality. If negative 8 is greater than n, n has to be less than negative 8. All I'm doing is just reversing the way the inequality is written. For the other side, or for the other inequality, we have 8 is greater than or equal to negative n over 4 plus 6. So here, again, we're trying to isolate for n. So the 6 moves over. 8 minus 6 is 2. So there's the 2 the negative n over 4 just comes along for the ride. And again, we're trying to solve for n, so we're going to take this 4 and multiply it over to the other side because it's being divided on the right-hand side. 2 times 4 is 8. So then we get 8 is greater than or equal to negative n. Now, there's a couple of different things that we could do here to solve this inequality. We could either divide both sides by a negative 1, and then that would change the direction of this inequality. Or we could multiply both sides by negative 1, and then the same thing would happen. This would change directions. Or what I'm actually doing here is just moving the negative n over to this side, which would turn it into a positive n, and taking the 8 and subtracting it over to the other side, turning it into negative 8. So all I'm doing is just making the terms on either side of the inequality go to the other side. So this gives us two solutions. n is less than negative 8, so let's graph that one first. I'm going to do that one in white. Less than means open circle and then to the left. And then I'll do the second one in green. n is greater than or equal to negative 8. So I'm going to make a solid dot over negative 8 and then make it go to the right. And then we ask ourselves, OK, so we've solved the inequalities. We have the solution set that's graphed. What type of inequality is this? This is an or compound inequality. So we're asking, where are we covered from the rain? So there's green rain falling from the sky, and you're standing on the number line, moving from left to right. Where are you protected from the rain? Where are you covered from the rain? So here's where you have an umbrella. So you're protected, protected, protected. Here's where the rain could get through, because that's the empty hula hoop. But you're protected by the line above. So that's where maybe someone else is holding an umbrella over your head while you get inside the building. And then this is where the building is protecting you. So for an or problem, you're protected everywhere. Oops. So the solution would be negative infinity to infinity. Now, just like we've done in the last couple of examples, let's say that this were not an or problem. You would do everything identical to solve the and compound inequality. However, at the very end, you would ask a different question of this painting. Where is the sandwich? Where is the overlap? So where are the two lines talk on top of each other? Hopefully you see that there's no overlap here, and there's no overlap here. The only potential overlap could be at negative 8, but the top line has negative 8, the bottom one does not. So there is no overlap. The, the bottom line is missing the, the left crust, and the top line has the left crust, but they're not on top of each other. There's crust missing on the bottom. So this would actually have no solution. So you would either write no solution, or you can write this Greek symbol phi. That means no solution. Let's just talk about the instructions in this video, and then we'll do the example in the next one. So for two variables, we have a different set of instructions to follow. The first thing you want to do is change the inequality temporarily, just for, for a brief moment, for an equation. The second thing is you want to graph the equation while you're paying attention to whether you have a less than or greater than, or if you have less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. If it's just less than, as we've done in the past, 
you make it a dashed line. If it's greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, if there's a little equal to sign in there, you make it a solid line. And then again, just as we have in the past, you pick a test point that is not on the line and you plug it into the inequality. If you get a true statement, the point is telling you the truth, you shade that the side you shade the side that the test point is on. If on the other hand you get a false statement, then you shade on the opposite side of the test point, on the other side of the line. So you do that for the first line, then you repeat steps one through three, everything we've done for the first line, but you do that for the second inequality as well. And then finally, you just shade the appropriate region. If it's and, you're looking for a sandwich, where is the overlap? And if it's an or statement, you're looking for where are we covered from the rain? Some examples in the next video. We'll see you in a minute.